On the long trip to New Zealand, Lord Howe Island is our first stop. 360 nautical miles from the Gold Coast, this will be our longest sail yet. Life feels like a mess. Mm -hmm. This is what it's like preparing to go overseas on a boat. Everything comes out of places and then, yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> We're sailing in New Zealand. Sure are. It's pretty amazing. I'm so fucking tired. For the crossing, we had our mate Lockie join us to make the shifts a little easier and for the great company. We're going! It's amazing! What a beautiful day to be sailing! Like 14 knots, gorgeous. So the sailing continued in absolutely amazing conditions. As we neared 48 hours, we realized that we could make Lord Howe before sunset if we were to speed up. We were worried about us getting there in the dark though. Oh, we'll anchor off the yeah, okay. How fast are we going now? Why won't you sing? Sing. Sing me a song. so hard. Once on Lord Howe Island, our main concern was making sure we could find the right weather window to make it to New Zealand. But we were surprised by seeing some old friends and even meeting some new ones. thousand stairs up the hill. Panorama. Pretty big. Have you ever done one of those? Panorama How selfie. How do you do that? Yeah, I, that's one of my things. I do panorama selfies. How the fuck do you do a panorama selfie? But I want all of you guys in it. Oh. Yeah. 
After leaving Lord Howe on our way to New Zealand, as we were heading southeast through the night, we pulled another forecast and realized we'd have headwinds the whole way and two lows that would engulf us when we got to New Zealand, so we decided to turn around. After we returned to Lord Howe, we spent the next six days looking for the right weather window to leave. Unfortunately, that meant Lockie had to return to Australia, so we were two up for the travel to New Zealand. This didn't phase us too much though, because we were in the most beautiful location to Oh, oh, oh. 